Hey, it's Pastor Fred. Welcome to the follow through. We're living for God and we're also listening to him. Why do we want to read the scripture and, and, and really just live it out? What an awesome, awesome thing. Today we are in Colossians chapter 3, verse 23. I love the book of Colossians. I know I say that about all of them, but this this is just so incredible. And um, this is another one of those passages that for me was a real game changer, a real life change thing. I remember when I was, I worked in a warehouse for a while, uh, driving a forklift, and I worked in the office for a while, and it was uh, just, a, just an amazing job. It was at that same time that God was kind of calling me to, um, to do some music things, and then, and then later on to, to go to school and, and become a pastor. And uh, I remember, you know, thinking to myself, I don't want to just like quit my job and be like, I hate that. I don't want to do that. Um, I, I kind of sensed really the truth that, that there's something wrong with that way of thinking. Um, and because it wasn't the job, the job was fine. Uh, and I was able to do the job. The people I worked with were great. But the problem was with me, like um, I, I just had a wrong sense. I was working for me. I was working for a paycheck. And what God came in, this, this passage came into play. And, and, and this, again, Colossians 3, 23 says this. He says, whatever you do, no matter what it is, work heartily as for the Lord and not for men. And I thought, well, boy, I'm, I'm, I've got it all wrong. I, I'm thinking that it's for a paycheck. And so I'm, I was kind of working for that. Um, I had a boss and, and I thought maybe I was working for, for him. And, and I got it all wrong. I wasn't that the boss wasn't my paycheck or my, my immediate supervisor, the guy who runs the company. Now again, I answered all of them and, and I hope to get the benefit of a paycheck. Don't get me wrong, that's awesome. That was a really good week after week to have. But ultimately, like if I believe in Jesus, like if I call him Lord, then he's my boss. And, and maybe boss is even a bad word because it has a really negative connotation, doesn't it? No, I love the way Paul says it. No, you work for him. Like in all that you do, they have the end results being, being like, I want to be able to say, God, look at this. Check this out, Lord. L look at what I did for you. No, it's not perfect, uh, right? Maybe it was a bit of a struggle. Maybe it was really, really difficult. But Lord, look at this. I did this for you. N again, not to earn approval, not, not to say, oh, I hope it's okay and, and cower in fear, but not at all. Just having this sense of, of Lord, you, you gave me the ability, you gave me that opportunity, and, uh, and, and again, this, this is what the outcome was. This was the end product, if you will. And I think what that does is that just, again, lifts that, that burden from us and, and stops us from doing things for the wrong reasons, for reasons that will always, always, always frustrate us. See, when you know your Father in Heaven who loves you and cares about you, uh, has, has put you in that position, has, has, has put you at that job or at that school or whatever it is, that, that you know that He didn't put you there for uh, as a mistake. He put you there for a reason and He's got some amazing plans and He's doing some amazing things. Like as I'm saying this, I mean He's doing something in somebody's life and they may not even be aware of it. But the, but the point that Paul is making and the point that I want us to grasp that we're working for Him. Whatever we do, that we, we give it our all. But because we know that ultimately it's all about God. It's all about serving Him and, uh, and, and living a life of thankfulness and, 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 and a life of, of, of just where we just give Him our everything. Well, I hope that helps you today and have a great rest of your day and we'll see you next time for another follow-through.